How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can get some Last Wish Raid loot entirely solo. Now in the Last Wish Raid there are two chests that can drop legendary armor and weapons. They will drop even if you haven't done the raid yet. In addition to that you can get the Taken Spec weapon mod. That can be slotted on any legendary weapon and it increases damage against taken enemies. Now before I get into the video, you may have noticed this is a video for solo players. If you're new to my channel, I make a ton of content for solo players. I do solo and solo flawless dungeons. I also do videos covering solo master and grandmaster nightfalls. In addition to that, a lot of my guides feature solo friendly methods. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit that like button and especially subscribe to my channel. Alright, so the first thing, you want to make sure you have some raid banners handy. I'm going to be showing you how to get both chests solo and this first one is really easy to get on any character. So when you are ready, you're going to want to load up the Last Wish Raid. When you do load into the Last Wish Raid, you're going to want to head forward and enter this doorway. We want to make our way to the Wishing Wall. So you're going to hear a little bit of dialogue at this point, but we want to wait for this door on the left wall to open. Then you're just going to want to follow the path you see on screen right now. And now we're at the wishing wall. Don't step on this plate right in front of you. Instead, you'll see a grid of circles in front of you. So you are going to want to shoot each circle until you get the pattern that you see on my screen right now. This is the Shuro Chi wish and it will teleport you to the Shuro Chi checkpoint. When you're sure your image matches the one you see on screen right now, you can head forward into the circle in the room. Now this is going to make you wipe so you can teleport to that checkpoint. When you arrive at the Shirochi checkpoint, you're going to want to turn around and head directly behind you. We're going to be jumping up this rocky outcrop here. When you're up high enough, you can kind of jump on over to this platform under the bridge and then walk along this rail. Once you get to this point, we're going to jump up here on this flat area. And then just over this edge, we're going to kind of drop down and around the corner to another platform on the bridge. We're going to run along some more bridge supports here onto another platform and then right off of this bridge support we're going to drop down and you're going to kind of see where we're going to land right here and here is your chest if you go ahead and grab that you're going to get a piece of legendary last wish raid gear this exact method can be replicated on all three characters every single week now i'm going to show you how you can easily get the second chest on a warlock and a titan so when you are ready to get that second chest, if you have a raid checkpoint, you're going to want to reset that first. Then you're going to want to relaunch the raid and make your way back to the wishing wall. When you do make it to the wishing wall, in order to get the second chest, we have to get to the Morgoth checkpoint. To do so, you're going to want to enter the wish that you see on the screen right now. If you need to see it for longer, make sure to pause the video. Again, double check that your screen matches what you see on my screen. When it does, you can go ahead and step on the plate right in front of you. Again, we're going to be wiped so we can be teleported to the Morgoth checkpoint. So once you're at the Morgoth checkpoint, you can place a rally banner. Before you use it, make sure to put Top Tree Dawnblade on. 
that's what we're going to be using to make it across the gap behind us. When you have that on and you're ready to go with your super, you're going to want to turn around and we're going to jump this large gap. In order to do that, I like to proc heat rises and jump as far as I can. When I start to fall, I'm going to go ahead and proc down blade and I'm going to Icarus dash the rest of the way. And just like that, we made it to the other side of the gap. Once you make it to the other side like I have, you're going to want to follow the path you see on screen right now to get to the second chest. So I'm going to try to stay up high here. You kind of have to wrap around that cliff a little bit. But over here, you're going to find the second chest and get yourself another piece of legendary gear. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to get that second chest, but this time on a Titan. Now there's going to be a couple of things you need in order to do this. First, you're going to want to equip a sword. Then I recommend being on Thunder Crash and using Catapult Lift. And finally, you're going to want Lion Rampant. When you're ready with your gear and subclass, you're going to want to make your way back to the Wishing Wall and enter that Morgoth Wish again, but this time on a Titan. Alright, once again, if you make it to the Wishing Wall on your Titan and you need the Morgoth Wish, you can see it on screen right now. Just pause the video if you need to see it for an extended amount of time. When you're ready and your image matches mine, you can head onto the plate. We're going to be using a technique called Sword Flying on a Titan. How that works is we're basically going to be activating catapult jump and then deactivating it immediately and then doing a sword swipe, a light sword swipe. And then we're going to keep repeating that process. If we somehow run out of juice before we get to the other side of the gap here, we're going to go ahead and use our super. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So you just tap your jump button twice and then do a sword swing. Tap twice, sword swing, tap twice, sword swing, and so on. And we've made it across the gap on a Titan. All right, once you've made it across the gap on your Titan like I have, we're going to follow a similar path to the Warlock. So we're going to kind of stay up high here and get over to this ledge. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sword fly around the edge out here. And you can kind of see where I'm going like that. It was a really easy sword fly, especially after crossing that gap. And once you're over here, you can make it to the chest. And there we have it. That was the second chest on a Titan. You should be able to get that first last wish chest on all three characters relatively easily. The second one is quite easy on a warlock and it's not too bad on a Titan either. Now, if you ended up enjoying this video, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.